Next letter is Lamed. Lamed. Lamed is a tall one. It's the giraffe one. Lamed. One continuous flow. One continuous flow. High. Above the line. Lamed. Lamed. A circle and a line. A circle and a line. One continuous flow. Lamed. You know, in music, you say la 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 la. This is the lamed. La 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 la. Now there are many words that you know already. Many words. One of them is lach. Lach. Lach means to you, feminine, singular. To you, feminine, singular. Lach. You know how to write it. I say l. La 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 la. You write the lamed. Great. Lach. You want to write half, but remember, it's the last letter in the word. Lach. The last letter. So final cuff. Great. Lach. Lach means to you, feminine, singular. Lach. Here is the letter Mem. Mem. The letter Mem you write also in between the lines one continuous flow. Mem. One continuous flow in between the lines. Mem, like Kaf, also has final. When the letter is at the end of the word, you write it differently. Mem, mem, a circle and a line, a circle and a line, a circle and a line. At the beginning of the word, in the middle of the word, mem. But at the end of the word, always mem. Now be careful, you write Hebrew from right to left. From right to left. You begin here and you finish here. Don't write it like you write the N in English. It's not. It's from right to left. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And it's mem. Now you know how to write a very important word. Mime. Water. Mime. You know how to write. I say ma, ma. We write the mem. Ma yi, ma yi, 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 yi. You write the yod. Very good. Maim, maim. The last letter of the word is mem. Remember, be careful, final mem, the last letter of the word. Maim, 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 water. Maim. Here is the letter nun. Nun. Nun, nun, in between the lines, one continuous flow, nun, nun. Nun also, as kaf and as mem, has a final, which means the last letter in the word. Pay attention, one long line, one long line, one long line, nun. So at the beginning of the word, in the middle of the word, we write nun like that. At the end of the word, just long line, nun. Now you know how to write the word ganan, ganan, ganan. You know how to write it down, g, g, g. You write gimel, great, ga, gana, na, 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 na. Nun, we have just studied it, ganan, nan. The last letter, the last letter in the word, so like that. Gimel, nun, and final nun. When it's the last letter of the word. Ganan. Ganan is a gardener. A man who is working in the garden. Gardener. Ganan. Here is the letter Samech. Samech. 
It's an easy one. Just a circle. But remember, Hebrew you write from right to left. Samech. Samech. A circle from right to left. In between the lines. One, two, one. One, one. Samech. And be careful. The letter O, it's English. You write it from left to right. O, O. But here we write Hebrew. We write Samech. We write Samech. From right to left. A circle from right to left. Samech. Here is the letter Ein. Ein. I should say Ein. Here, it's guttural. Ein. But most of the Israelis, it's very difficult for them, so they don't say Ein. They say Ein. We should say Ein. And you write it in between the lines. One continuous flow. From right to left. Ein. From right to left. Ein. 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 One continuous flow. Ein. Ein. The letter Ein has a meaning. The meaning of the word Ein in Hebrew is an I. Ein. And you know now how to write it down. I say A, 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 right. You write the Ein. A, Y, 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 right. You write the Yod. Ein, N, N. Nun, nun, last letter in the word, all the way down. Ein, an I. So the word Ein in Hebrew means the letter Ein and also part of the body. Ein. Here is the letter P. P. You write it one continuous flow in between the lines. One continuous flow. Look, one, one, one. Pe, pe, pe. Here, like bet and cuff. Sometimes you have a dot inside. P, p, p. But sometimes you don't. If you don't have a dot inside, you pronounce it. So, p, 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 f, f, f. When p appears at the end of the word, we write it differently. We begin writing it as if it were lamed, and then all the way down. One continuous flow. Up and all the way down. Up and all the way down. Sometimes it looks as if it were a music clef. And sometimes it's just like that, all the way down. Now you know to write another word. A word is daf. Daf. You know how to write it. Daf. D. D. Write the letter dalid. Daf. Daf. F, f, f. Write. Final pay. Look, it's a tall one like lamed and all the way down. Duff. Duff is a paper. Duff. And also the word af. Af. A nose. Part of our body. Af. Ah, ah, ah. Remember, it was long ago. The first letter of the alphabet. Aleph. Right. Aleph. Af. At the end of the word, final pay. Very good. Af. A nose. Daf. Af.